Can I try it on? Let's say it in Lebanese Arabic. حبيت هيدا الفستان الفوشيا. فيني جربو عملي معروف؟ ايه أكيد. أي قياس بديك؟ بدي القياس الصغير. وكمان هيدا الجينز كبير علي. عندك القياس الأصغر؟ ايه عندي ايه. تفضلي دومازال أو مدام. ميرسي كتير. تكرم عينك. Let's break this conversation down. We will start with the first sentence. حبيت هيدا الفستان الفوشيا. حبيت حبيت هيدا هيدا الفستان الفستان الفوشيا الفوشيا حبيت I liked or I loved هيدا this masculine الفستان the dress so فستان is dress الفستان the dress الفوشيا فوشيا the color the فوشيا الفوشيا so حبيت هيدا الفستان I liked this dress الفوشيا the فوشيا dress in Arabic you put the color after the noun. That's why we say a dress fuchsia rather than a fuchsia dress. So, حبيت هيدا الفستان الفوشيا. I like this fuchsia dress. Let's do the second sentence, which is a question. فيني جربو عملي معروف؟ فيني فيني جربو جربو عملي عملي pronounced as عملي معروف معروف فيني I can or can I جربو try it so جرب is try جربو try it in the masculine, because we're talking about the dress, fustan. And because fustan is masculine, we will say jerbo with the O in the end. If it was feminine, we were going to say jerba with the A in the end. So, fine jerbo, can I try it? Masculine, amele ma'aruf. Together, amele ma'aruf means please. But if we break it down, it literally means amele do. Ma'aruf, a favor. But together it means please. It doesn't mean do me a favor. Fini jerbo amele ma'aruf? Eh, akid. Aya yes baddik. Eh, akid. Yes, of course. Aya yes. Which size? A means which. Yes means size. Baddik. You want. In the feminine form. Eh, akid. Aya yes baddik. Yes, of course. Which size do you, feminine, want? Baddi le yes le zghir. Baddi. Baddi. I want. El yes. El yes. The size. El zghir. El zghir. The small. Baddi le yes. Lizghir. I want the small size. Again, you notice here that we place the adjective small after the noun. For example, in English you say the small size. In Arabic we say the size, the small. وكمان هيدا الجينز كبير علي. وكمان وكمان and also هيدا هيدا this الجينز الجينز جينز in English كبير كبير big علي 
Alayye. Ala in Arabic means on. Alayye means on me. So when I say kbir alayye, literally I'm saying it's big on me. In English you would just say it's big. Wu kamen and also haydal jeans, these jeans. In Arabic I don't say these jeans, I'm just saying this jeans. Haydal jeans, kbir alayye, big on me. So also these jeans are big. Andik al yes al azgar. عندك عندك You have feminine الياس الياس The size الأصغر 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 means the smaller الياس الأصغر The smaller size Again, in Arabic we said the size the smaller. Also, zghir, as we said, is small. Azghar is smaller. E, عندي e. E, yes, or ye. عندي, عندي, I have. Ye, it's written ye, but in Lebanese Arabic we will pronounce it Ye, which means it. عندي ye means I have it, masculine. If it was feminine, we were going to say عندي ye ha. عندي ye ha. So, e عندي ye means yes, I have it, masculine. تفضلي دموازل or madame. تفضلي. تف د ل تفضل means here you are it's a polite way to say take تفضل دموازل دموازل is a french word which means miss and we know the french influence in lebanon on the arabic language that's why we say demoiselle which is a french word we can also say madame which means madam. Again, it's a French word. Tfaddale demoiselle or madame. Here you are, miss or madam. And finally, merci ktir. Merci ktir. Merci again is a French word to say thank you. Ktir means very. Merci ktir. Thank you very much or a lot. We can of course say shukran ktir. Shukran, thank you. Ktir, thank you very much. And finally, we have this expression, Tikram Aynik. Tikram Aynik. It's an expression very unique to Lebanese culture. It's a warm way to say you're welcome. So, we can, for example, say Tikrame, Tikrame which means you're welcome, feminine, tikrame. But here, the person is being very warm and saying tikram aynik. Ayn in Arabic means eye, your eyes, ayn. Aynik, your eye, feminine. Tikram aynik. It's like you're literally saying, may your eye be honored. It's just a way to say you're welcome. Tikram aynik, if you're talking to a woman. Tikram aynak, with the ak sound in the end, if you're talking to a man. So next time you want to be warm to someone and you want to say you're welcome in Lebanese Arabic, instead of saying tikrame, if it's a lady, or tikram, if it's a man, you can say tikram aynik, tikram aynak. Now let's repeat the conversation again, the first time round, slowly, and then a bit faster. حبيت هيدا الفستان الفوشيا فيني جربو عملي معروف؟ ايه أكيد أي إياس بدك بدي لإياس الصغير وكمان 
هيدا الجينز كبير علي عندك القياس الأصغر ايه عندي ايه تفضلي دموازيل او مدام ميرسي كتير تكرم عينك Let's say it faster حبيت هيدا الفستان الفوشيا فينا جربه وعملي معروف ايه اكيد اي قياس بدك بدل القياس الصغير وكمان هيدا الجينز كبير علي عندك القياس الاصغر ايه عندي ايه تفضلي دوموزيل اور مدام ميرسي كتير تكرم عينك